what is going on guys this is Penzik with Reaper Airsoft and today we got a mail call from Airsoft Innovations here they sent us their new Cyclone impact grenade and the XL burst impact banger the uh, sound grenade um, to check out to see how well they work now and you know that's exactly what we're gonna do so a huge shout out to Airsoft Innovations for hooking us up with these so we can get a chance to check these out. Um, we're going to open both of these up, see what's inside of them, see what they get, see how they're set up, load them up, and use both of them. Uh, so we'll get to them one at a time here. Let's start with the Cyclone Grenade. We'll get this one pulled apart, pulled open, uh, see what this is all about, and and go from there. Um, before we pull it out, let's go over the packaging here. We'll close it up. Shh, you didn't see that. Rewind. All right, so packaging itself. Really colorful, nice, nice display. They put some effort into the box. Nice big sticker on the bo uh, box up front says "Mystery Patch Bonus Collectible Morale Patch," which is nice. You know, it's always nice to get a little bit of a freebie, a little bit of extra, basically a thank you for purchasing the product, if you will. Um, so it says featuring quantum drive technology. I don't know what quantum drive technology is, but we'll figure that out here shortly, I guess. Fires 140 BBs at 225 feet per second. So. That's not bad at all. I, 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 can, I can dig that. That's a lot of BBs um, at a decent feet per second. So in close quarter stuff, when we do the middle sim events, we got our, we got a clear rooms. Be a nice little uh, addition to anybody's kit. So the kit contains the Cyclone Impact Grenade, Grenade Oil, and Grenade Skin. So it looks like there's a couple skins you can throw in there. Uh, the grenade itself, grenade spins while firing 140 BBs in all directions. Propane powered and fully reusable, sensitive and reliable impact head, easy to reset, no trigger parts, no tools. So you're not going to lose the trigger or anything like that. Um, scoop load BBs for quick reloads, robust design using resilient acetone, which is a plastic, reusable locking pin, lanyard loop or on functioning spoon handle, handle, very low cost per use. Medium 30 weight silicone oil, specifically selected for use in AI grenades. Only two drops every other fill keeps your grenade in top shape. Warning, warning guys, this is the stuff we need to watch. There is a serious risk of personal injury, death, or property damage arising out of the use or misuse of this product. By using this product, you agree to, full, uh, you agree to freely accept and fully assume all such risk. So they're saying this can cause death if it's used improperly. Remember, this thing spins. It's going to generate some sort of kinetic energy when it's spinning, doing its thing. So it, it can hurt if it hits you, I guess. Backside frag the win. After all, after years in development, the new generation of our grenade is born, introducing the AI Cyclone Grenade, the newest incarnation of the most ruthless spinning airsoft BB dispensing device out there. So let's pop this thing open. And let's see what's in the package here. So we got our oil, grenade, instructions. Let's see. So here's our grenade morale patch. Yeah. Pain bringer, airsoft innovations. I like that. That's a good patch. I'd rock that patch. Um, it's a PVC patch too, so it's nice thick rubber. Uh, good quality there. Set that aside because we don't need to test that out. Here is your stickers. I like it. Um, so on its stickers itself, there is instructions. You have one for, I guess, lower visibility if you don't want to give it away. If you need something a little higher visibility to help you find it after you throw it, they give you a couple different colors there to choose from. It looks like there is a blue one on there already. Um, the oil itself, grenade oil, medium weight, 30, 30, uh, 30 weight oil. So that's the silicone oil. And the instructions. It's actually pretty in-depth instructions looking at it real quick. So let's see. Make safe, remove end cap, reset impact head. It'll apply so apply spoon, insert locking pin. So load loop gas and BBs. Reattach bottom cap. All right, so let's open this thing up. Let's see. So that one's 
open. There we go. There's your spoon. Let's open up the oil as well. Well, everything's out, ready to go, and we can follow the instructions here. I have some BB somewhere. I got some Elite Force Three Twos chilling here if we need them. All right, guys. So I've got the uh, Airsoft Innovation Cyclone Grenade. I've got it all pulled apart. I went over it real quick. We're gonna get it loaded up. Um, do a test fire out of it. So you're gonna have your main core, your plunger for your main core. Get that pressed back in. Maybe, there we go. A little bit of oomph. So, there we go, we got the outside up. I think I put the oil away, we're gonna oil it real quick. We're gonna have to oil everything. So, there's the oil, that way I have that up. All right, so, got our main core. So the first thing you need to do, bottom plunger here, we're gonna push up. You're going to push the hammer, if you will, towards the back, towards the side with the lip. That's going to lock it in place. Your spoon has a tab that keeps it from slipping forward while you're running. So this is a, a safety device, if you will. Your pin's going to go in. Now, I'm not going to lock the pin in uh, on my side because we're going to use this here in a second. So. As of right now, the head's ready to fire. The head's all ready to go. I'm going to take our oil. I'm going to do two drops. One, two. Um, now, I'm not going to use propane on these. I, all I use is green gas. I don't use propane at all, so we're not going to use propane at all. So once you get the oil in there, you're going to drop that in. Make sure that head's flush. And then with the use of green gas, since it's lubricated, it should work and last even longer. You're going to get this head lined up until you feel it sit in. Let me see if I can get the line up. Where are we at? There we go. And then you're going to give it a twist. So once you push it in, if it'll press all the way down and twist, it'll lock in. You'll feel it lock in. You won't be able to pull it up. That'll lock it in in place. So we're going to load up the BBs. We're going to make sure the head's flush here. It's flush. Now these are just basic 2 Tac Force BBs. Um, these are junk BBs I didn't want to use. You know, three twos on it. Even though I may run out of BBs in here. It's only a 90 round speed loader. And these hold 140. There we go. So you don't want it to be too overfilled because you won't get the cap on all the way. So we'll throw one in there. One right there, we're good to go. Green gas, that one's empty, this one's full. Let's charge it. Now, when you go to set this down, you're going to line this up so it's, it's flush. Top cap's going to be flush in here. There's a little notch here. That notch is going to go into the notch here. So push down. Twist. And you have to twist, guys. Um, if you don't, it won't lock in correctly. And it, I'm not going to lie, it can be a pain. Um, but you have to make sure you do push and twist. Now, once you get it locked in, everything's locked in, you'll see there's two stopping tabs. One on this side, one on this side. That'll actually lock that down and it'll be ready to go. Um, so this one is ready to fire. We'll go test it. They say you should let it sit for 15 minutes for the gas to hit optimum temperature. So we're going to let it sit. Back in the war room. It's kind of messy. I got the treadmill pushed out of the way. Got it a little bit cleared up. That way we can test these out. First one we're going to do is a cyclone grenade, um, all ready to go. 
We let it sit for a few minutes that way it is warmed up, ready to roll. We're gonna pull the pin. Pull the spoon. Now we're live, we're ready to go, here we go. I got smacked in the face with that one. And I knew I got hit, I flinched, I'll be honest with that. I got smacked in the face with that one. I had a little bit of force there, I was using a 2-0. The spread was the entire room. That was phenomenal. Very impressed with that right there, guys. That worked extremely well. You just seen the Cyclone Impact Grenade go off. Um, my final verdict, I like it. Uh, these are a lot better than what they used to be when they first came out. The improvements made here were drastic and dramatic. Um, I got hit with the BB from one of them. Uh, I knew I got hit, so it wouldn't be like, well, I don't know, and you know, I felt it. It had some force around it, um, and it connected nicely. And then the spread throughout the whole room was phenomenal. I was very impressed with the spread. Uh, they are a little setup heavy, um, you know, just because you got to take both ends off, you got to get the BBs loaded. Uh, so if you're going to do a milsim event, anything like that, I would definitely recommend having one, two, maybe even three of these things set up. That way you can switch right to another one instead of use it, clear room, reload it, use it, clear room, reload it. The big downfall, in my opinion, is the setup and the, uh, the warm-up time, basically. That 15-minute period, they recommend you wait until after uh, the fill. But it worked perfectly. You know, it had a nice spread. It got all over the room. You can feel the impact. If you have two or three of these on you and you can, you know, clear a couple rooms uh, and keep rolling, I think they'll work perfectly. I think the biggest downfall is it's not a, a forget, a throw and forget like the pea grenade, pea grenades out there. You know, the pea grenade you throw them, it's a pyrotechnic grenade. This is safer than that because it's not actually exploding or causing any sort of pyrotechnics. But the pea grenades, you know, they're a throw and forget. I can throw it, not have to worry about retrieving it. Um, this i got to worry about retrieving the spoon itself, you can put a lanyard on it, that way when you pop it off, you can have it attached to your wrist or something like that. Um, but I would probably go to a normal spoon setup, or a pin setup. So one of these is probably what I would end up going to for this type of grenade. That way I don't have this extra, I'll just bend that cotter pin over, that way it stays in, pull it, go. Um, but yeah, the spoon is definitely recommended, you know, tie it off something, that way you have it, and it's not going out with the grenade itself. But so far I'm impressed with the performance of this. I definitely will be using these in the next Millsim event. If you guys have any tips or tricks on what you did to make yours even better, or anything to help any new guys out using these that you found from use over time, leave it down in the comments section below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns for these, leave that down in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down. And if you guys could, like, subscribe, and share.